Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Jenna. So today we have an unboxing video. Um, this is a Department 56 unboxing. This thing is huge. It's like taking up half of the camera. <laughs> but I will show you what I've got here. I have Hogwarts Astronomy Tower, which I'm really excited about this one. Um, you can kind of see around the box. This one's got the info on the back. So, um, oh my goodness, it is really big. Um, this completes my Hogwarts castle set. So I have all of Hogwarts for Halloween slash Christmas this year. Um, I haven't set them up yet, so I don't know if I'll have them up by Halloween, but fingers crossed I'll have it started. Because <laughs> I figured, um, I mean, why not? You could put up your Christmas village for, because it's Harry Potter, like as early as October and enjoy it for months, so why not? Um, so the, the Astronomy Tower can be paired with the um, Great Holland Tower and um, the Owlery pieces. So this one is the last bit of Hogwarts. Um, I have Hagrid's hut as well already. The one part I'm not going to have this year because the last, I have one more video after this and that's my last haul for this, this Christmas season um, on the Department 56 stuff. So if I don't have things, um, it might be coming for next year. So we'll see how that works out. But, um, well, it will be coming for next year because I don't have them yet. But um, for this season, what I have shown you guys thus far, and one more video after this one, that's going to be it. Um, and that's what I have to work with and what I'm going to have to build stuff and sets around. So that's going to be my next uh, project this next month, is to get my sets built. But this is the last piece I needed for the castle. The piece that I was thinking of um, is the boathouse. They just put out the boathouse um, for when they go across the lake the first years. And I'm excited to get that too. So, cause then I can make like the whole lake and everything, like a whole little scene from, I think that would be really fun. Um, but it's gonna be a bigger build and we are possibly moving this next summer. And so I don't know where we're gonna end up. So I gotta see kind of what the space is that I'll be working with next Christmas season after we move. Um, more info to come, lots of adventures to go on, so yeah. All right, so let's get into the astronomy tower. Now, this one um, is, it's a coordinates with, it does have a coordinates with peace, and in this case, it's the Severus Snape and Minerva McGonagall accessory. So of course, I got that too. I love this. This is the one that I was actually waiting on um, to come in the mail, because a lot of these pieces have been delayed. Um, no matter where you order them from, they're on back order, and they're like caught up in all of our shipping issues that we're having right now. So I finally got it and I'm really glad that I got it um, so I could show you this piece because I've actually had this one kind of tucked away to show you guys for a, a minute. Um, okay, so let's start with this and I'm gonna kind of see if I can, I don't know, maybe I can. Also, I have a bonus piece today, which maybe we'll start with the bonus piece. Um, this does coordinate with another bigger item. I don't have that bigger item and I'm going to have kind of a bonus figurine for both this video and the next one because I don't have the piece that it goes with, but I got Lucius Malfoy too, um, which is kind of like he can, for now, he can go with Draco who's waiting at Hogwarts Express. So like, it's okay. He can, he has a place in my village, even though I don't have the building that he goes with, um, yet. So. And I'm good with that. All right, so let's let's do the Lucius Malfoy one first. Um, I'm really excited <laughs> about these. I, I get excited about everything. You know that it's fine, right? It's all good. All right, so lots of oh my goodness, all oh, the styrofoam. All right, I guess hey, the good thing about having this here is that I can set stuff on it. <laughs> so here is Lucius Malfoy. Oh, I want to see. I want to see. Oh, wow. Boy, does he have that look on his face as always. I love it. So he's got his um, walking stick, you know, that his wand comes out of. So he's got his wand pulled out of it. Like it looks like he's getting ready to <clears throat> curse somebody. And um, I love the detail on his jacket. You can see like the silver on his jacket. Let's see if I can get this to focus. 
for some detail. Check him out. He is detailed, as always. I just really love Department 56 stuff. There you go, and you can see he's got, he's standing on some cobblestone, so that kind of tells you where he's supposed to be. Um, might give you a hint of what building he might go with. All right, so there we go. And then of course on the bottom, we've got our um, Harry Potter logo and everything. But there is Lucius Malfoy. I'm going to set his packaging aside. And now let's do Snape and Minerva. It's two of my favorite professors. Um, yes, I like Snape. I don't, I don't, I mean like, you know, he was misunderstood and kind of a good guy, although he's kind of less of a good guy in the books than he was portrayed in the movies, but I was a, always a huge Alan Rick, Alan Rickman fan. May he rest in peace. That was such a loss. But yeah, I like Snape. Okay, so here we go. I haven't seen these yet. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's too funny. I already saw a little detail that I just absolutely adore. Here they are. All oh, their, their wonderful glory. Of course, they're on grass because they're on the grounds um, of Hogwarts. Oh, the look. I love that they have um, Minerva's little, little her brooch. Um, so the feather in her cap is on the back and then here I didn't show you the back so of course Snape's holding his hands behind his back um, and then here's her cap so there we go and he's got his hands behind his back you can kind of see them on the front end <laughs> that's so great I love them I love it so much. And I like that they put these two together. I think that that's, um, that was a good choice. So let's set them aside and open up the astronomy tower. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got this. Okay, so of course this one lights up. Oh, the big box bit. Okay, we're gonna set that over here. And then we're gonna take our scissors. I really should probably start using my little letter opener. I have it around here somewhere. It's probably more appropriate opening tool. These are handy. So you know it is what it is. I don't know if I got that all the way open. It can be a bit of a tricky thing. Okay, I think I did. Alright, so now we're gonna. As much as I hate, I wish that there was like a more sustainable way to package these and have them be so well protected as they are in the styrofoam because I really don't like the styrofoam. All right, I'm gonna set this piece down this direction and wiggle the top of the box off. Oh, I can't do it because I missed the tape on the side, I guess. Just double tape. There we go. Okay, I think I got it now. Sometimes <laughs> the tissue paper sticks to the, the top of the thing. Okay, here we go. So of course, wow, this is gonna be awesome. Um, it comes with the paperwork. It comes with your little thank you. Um, and uh, registration information. And then this of course is telling you, this is all of your safety info like, cause it is electronic um, and all of that. So we're gonna set that aside. I always keep the paperwork with the piece. And then we're gonna open it. This piece is really heavy. I'm not gonna, like it is, this one is super hefty. Um, okay, so we have the box. Before I like get it out of the box, I'm curious. I think this one's gonna be a plug-in. Yes, this one's a plug-in. It's not a battery powered one. Um, so we have the light up, the plug, so we're going to need this because we want to see it lit up, right? So let's take that out. 
Oh, it definitely has that straight out of the factory plastic smell um, of paint and stuff. I don't know. I just got that whiff <laughs> from... Normally they don't have much of a, a scent to them, but I guess... Whew, it, this does. This does. It's not bad. It's just that it's fairly strong. All right, so we're going to want to plug this in. If I can ever get it, I can never get these things unraveled the way that... <sighs> cord management is a thing for me. And so I always get kerfuffled when I can't... <laughs> can't manage to get a cord unraveled. All right, let me get this whole piece. Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, the turrets, the look, you can see it has the gold turrets um, tips on the top. And it is so pretty. And then of course I've got some, I might have to take like some of those. It might be helpful if you get these um, to have like a, like either a little, stiff brush duster but you don't want something that's going to scratch it something that's gentle enough to just but just good enough to kind of get into the little grooves because the styrofoam pieces and things kind of get caught okay so oh i, I love that okay i'm gonna i'm gonna lift this up Whew. boy is it heavy i'm gonna lift this up so you can see it here is the astronomy tower. You can kind of get an idea. I will bring it back this way. So the cord for lighting it up is here. And here's the top view. And of course the bottom is, this one's piece is solid. So the lights are all, they are what they are. All right, I'm gonna see if I can Light her up. There she goes. All lit up. Oh, wow. I love, I think the tower is probably my favorite. Look, you can see the lights in the window. Oh, look at that. Look how it lights up. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. This is going to be so great with the Allery and everything. Um, I know this is like the front side. Um, I kind of wish that they, and I'm sure for setup reasons, like when I get all three pieces next to each other, that there's a good reason this cord is where it is. I'm trying to push them all together. I kind of wish it came out of the side though, but maybe that's just so you can hide it better. It's sort of out of the back. That is so pretty. Check it out. All right. Well, I'm gonna turn my lights back on so you can see me. Hi. That is the Astronomy Tower, McGonagall and Snape, and Lucius Malfoy. Um, I'm gonna show you some close-ups. It is just gorgeous. I love how they do like the rocks and uh, like grass on the bottom, and then they build into this brick with beautiful window detailing. And the door is so cute. I love the door. And then you have these little windows on the top of the turrets. That is just beautiful. That is a really gorgeous piece. But just the details. Over here, it looks like there's like little doors kind of in the bottom of the castle tower. And this round window in the tower, this is something I've never seen from Department 56 before. It has one of those like, it looks like one of those little glass round like beads um, that you would put in like a vase or maybe even a fish tank or something. And they used it as a window, but it looks like um, a crystal ball. That is really cool detail that I just love so much. I just adore this. It is gorgeous and it's so well done. I think you're going to really enjoy these if you ever decide to get um, into collecting any of the Department 56 pieces, but even if you just want like one or two, you have a little favorite um, building or area, you should definitely, definitely invest in these. They are beautiful collector's items, um, but they're just gorgeous display pieces overall. I hope you really enjoyed this video and unboxing. I 
absolutely adore my Department 56 pieces and I hope that you have fun seeing my collection grow with me and maybe finding some of your own pieces that you love. If you've already started collecting Department 56 of any kind, whether it be the Harry Potter Villages or others, let me know what you've got down below and how much you're enjoying them and what you do with them all year long or if you just put them up for Christmas, how you display yours. So I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Thank you.